So this was supposed to be a watch me craft a sandy gas trinket tray ASMR video, but it ended up being a fail. So here I am reusing the footage for this commentary video you are now watching. I have never been very successful at this ASMR stuff because first of all, I live next to traffic. And second of all, I have difficulty emanating that calmness ASMR creators seem to have, but I really, really enjoy watching ASMR baking videos. And every time I go down that rabbit hole, I get inspired to make my own, but with non-edible crafting materials. And every time I try, I hate the way it comes out. It's just not what I had in mind. I convinced myself that practice makes perfect, which is why I keep trying. And actually with this project, I felt like things were going well at first, even though in some stages, I did not know what the fuck I was doing. However, at one point when I realized my mic kind of got loose and unplugged, I started having a crisis and was thinking about scrapping the whole video. But I spent so much time on it already. I think he here was around day three. I know, surprising, right? Cause it looks like I didn't get very far, but what do you know, three days were suddenly gone. <laughs> Whenever I film a crafting project, it does take me about three times longer to finish. Anyways, by the time I started the mold casting here, I was wondering if it was even worth it to put this much effort into an unpopular Pokemon. But my answer was eventually yes, because thinking about how cute the results would be got me hyped up. Cuteness is my biggest inspiration, and honestly, it helped me keep my sanity while I was filming this video. Gotta say though, every time I attempt to make an ASMR video, I do learn from my mistakes. The problem is that there's like a million more mistakes to learn from. Also, if you guys want to watch this video without my voiceover and just the ASMR audio that I had recorded, I'll post it right after this video. So it'll be the next video on my page. And if you have any critiques about how I can make my next ASMR video better, that doesn't require me to buy like a new device or spend more money that is, I am all ears. Leave them in the comments below and I will try my best to follow those critiques. Does that make sense? Anyways, here is the final product and I do love how it turned out. I think it was really successful in terms of product wise, filming wise, another story, right? I ended up making about five of these trays. I'm thinking that my next Pokemon trinket tray is going to be a Gengar one. And just to let you guys know, I am affiliated with Let's Resin. I do have a link in the description box below for 10% off if you want to use my code. And I am also supposed to get something whenever you use the code, but I have no idea what I'm getting because it hasn't happened at all. Um, that's not important. The important thing is you get 10% off because sticker price is sucker price.